getting in Rachel's head. Now she don't know what to now she don't know what to think about whether she's seen a monster or is it a gift. She don't know whether she cursed or blessed. Messing up her mind. Would you like some coffee or something? I gave up coffee when I was pregnant. I never went back. I understand Ingrid had been feeling ill for a while. That's right. Is last night worse than usual? Uh, I'm not. I'd have to think. There will be an autopsy. So we'll have answers soon enough. Many I spoke to had strong feelings about your wife. She's not even buried. And people are already dragging her name. She had her defenders. Mostly those who were scared of her. And I think it's safe to say most in this town would celebrate one less Johansson. I could barely even find someone to do the autopsy. It's a small town. Grudges live longer than people. Mm. And you, detective. Are you glad to see one less Johansson? She is. She did most I on loved her, detective. She is. I shouldn't have to prove that to you. I guess I'll take your word for it. For now, anyway. I've had enough of this. We're in mourning. If I have other questions, I'll be in touch. You know where the door is. I'll walk you out. Your father's memory may be hazy, but mine's not. I know what kind of person Ingrid was. If there's something you're hiding, either of you, you need to tell me. We'll find out either way. Mm. Ooh. So it's like three different stories. So no, uh, it's stories, different stories. Okay. So we have, we have Astrid and her father, and her mother's dead. Astrid Thrink, Astrid Thrink, Astrid thinks that her father was the reason why her mother died because she seen an injection needle next to her mother bedside. And her mother don't take injections for the pain that she's dealt that her mother's dealing with. So that's that. And then we have Rachel's story, in which she's in this religious fanatic group, this occult group, and she's seen visions in the occult reader, thinking that her visions is coming from a god called a purifier. And um, and she don't know whether it's a gift that she's seeing. She don't know whether that's a god or a monster. She don't know whether this is a gift or a curse. But that's that. And then we find out. And then we have Joy's brother finding out that his sister died. So that's like three stories technically. Hmm. Just, I burned myself. Where? You sure? Yeah, I, I'm fine. Hey, about the thing with Toby. I, uh, I hope I didn't get you in trouble with anybody at the foundation. For what it's worth, I think you were right to send him that prayer. Maybe some small part of it got. And that's him. Rachel's boyfriend. Xavier's dealing husband. with bigger problems than Toby. Joy's death. You never did tell me what happened. Joy died during a ceremony. It was just her and me, and then we weren't alone. There was something else, something right out of Radcliffe's writings. Oh, my God. But you can't tell anyone. Xavier needs this to stay quiet until we can figure out what really happened. Understand? I can't, I can't be dealing with something like this. You're just What's talking wrong? to somebody and randomly you see a monster just coming in your house. Acting as as acting as, acting as if they always live there. That's we too need to much. Go to the foundation now. That's too much. What? Why? Go get faith. I'll pack. 
Rach, it's the middle of the night and... Eric, I know this brings up bad memories for you, but we're not safe here. But what do we tell Faith? I guess we could lie and say it's a sleepover. At least she wouldn't be scared. Xavier doesn't approve of keeping the truth from children. We can tell her a story from the scriptures. Xavier keeps copies in his library. Some of those stories are pretty scary, Rach. Eric, you're not helping. Look, we don't have time to debate this. I just need you and Faith to do exactly what I say. It'll be better for everyone. I don't know if she'll listen. She's been acting out again. Eric, go! Yeah, okay. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Hello? Bullshit. You couldn't even answer your fucking phone. And I oh Joy? You never cared about me. That's why I joined them. Oh wow. To find a real family. This isn't happening. Then open your eyes. Get in his head. Oh god! Joy! No! What? What? This isn't real. Get your shit together, Toby. We both know that'll never happen. You're just gonna stand there? <gasps> after oh. what they did to me? After what she did? Rachel did this? First she screwed you over. Destroyed your life. Then she took mine. She needs to answer for what she's done, Toby. You deserve the truth. Rachel, the Foundation, they won't say a goddamn thing. I warned you about them, Joy. But I'll show everyone what they did. I can prove it now. Proof? How? Even if you had it, who would believe you? Or Toby Sorelli, the town drunk, the fuck up. Then what do I do? Please, tell me what to do. Burn it down. All of it. I I can't. This is giving me more of Dark Pitches Joy, anthology please. series more than Silent Hill. Like I don't get Silent Hill vibes what? from this at all, so far. But it's good though. I'm liking these new stories. I wish I could make decisions though. I'm gonna make some decisions. Structurally, the liquid in the syringe appears to be an opiate. Morphine? She wasn't prescribed morphine. And who can- Yeah, this- her story is getting more interesting as Hello? we speak. Hello, Astrid. This is Mrs. Stavik. I'm one of Orson's instructors. Is everything alright? No, I'm afraid not. There was an altercation between some of the kids today. It's hard to say who started it, but Orson bit another student. I'm afraid you're going to have to keep him whole until been it's hard student? to say. Orson could have been pushed or provoked. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was self-defense. Yeah. I got to take it off for our son. We have a very strict policy about violence. Regardless of how it started, we're suspending Orson for a few days. Mm. I'm sorry. <sighs> Did I catch you at a bad time? Got the report on the C1 cultures you wanted. Everything okay? Uh, some drama at Orson school. Apparently he misbehaved. But it could have been the other kids who started it for all I know. One parent to another? If you let him off easy now, it'll just lead to more bad behavior down the line. Sounds like my mother. If anyone in my family stepped even a toe out of line, we never heard the end of it. I never wanted that for Orson. And he's so impressionable at this age. It takes a lot of work to not become our parents. Maybe I'll just give him a good talking to. In my experience, lectures are sometimes not enough. Mm-hmm. In one ear, out the other. Yeah. What would you do? 
Beat their ass. There's something he'd understand. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. He'd hate it. And I'm not sure I could handle the tears. We all have to learn that actions have consequences. Hey, why is face so orange? You got an orange face. Looking like an orange. I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. Who prescribed to her morphine? Who she got this morphine from? I feel like I feel like Astrid's story so far is the most interesting story because it's like a plot twist on a plot twist on a plot twist on a plot twist. Like, but the rest of them, I ain't really crazy about it so far. But Astrid, I want to know who gave her mother morphine. Was it the daddy? Orson, how about something to eat, yeah? We have, uh... Oh. Ava. When did you get here? Who's Ava? Who's this woman? Mama kicked me out of the house again. Okay if I stay? Yeah, of course. What do you have there, Lily, then? You got in a bit of trouble at school, I hear. Well, we'll stay out of trouble here, won't we? He beat someone, huh? When I was his age, I used to bite kids at school, too. What? Grandpa? Where's Grandma? That's complicated, Lilivan. <laughs> you didn't Am see I her in the bed just sleeping like... I was his age when I lost my grandma. You didn't see that? My papa's mama. Oh, he was so sad. He didn't come out of his room for a week. That made mama angry. I kept asking why Papa was so sad, and that made her even angrier. So, finally she told me. What did she tell you? What she thought I needed to hear. Who is this woman and why Grandpa? she's in the house? Where's Grandma? You know that your Grandma loves you very much, right? Just like I love you. And your Mama does too. Where did she go? Well... You see, Lilivan, she went to Grandma, a special place. Special place. She died. <gasps> Am I going to die too? One day. I mean, I, I gotta give him the truth. I'm sure, right? For a very long time. Yeah. I don't think I want to. I mean, you don't have no choice. Don't worry about that now, Lilivan. Little Venn diagram. Can you watch him a moment? Who was this woman? Orson, Grandpa's going out to check on the farm. Will you be okay playing with your toys for a few minutes? I'll play with Zane. Who is Zane? The man in the fog. Oh, stop playing. What the fuck? Stop playing with me. Oh my god. Now it's giving me now it's giving me uh um 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 Dang. Mommy, I don't like it here. I forgot that. I, know, I forgot Stephen, the author. And I promise we'll go home soon. We just need to be here for a little while. I'll go grab the rest of our things. And also, that did um, Doctor Magic. You and Eric can. I don't want to stay here. That author guy's name. Remember the story about the girl in the stone castle? Her mommy and daddy took her to a big castle so she'd be safe from the monsters outside. And remember who was there to protect them? The perf purifier. That's right. Uh, are there monsters outside? Like in the story? Stephen King. That's what's giving this me Stephen King. Like I had to search him up. Castle. What's this first off thinking of? <laughs> That's what's giving me so far. Now, okay. Stephen King. I saw something again tonight. The purifier? I don't know what it was. Xavier, I'm afraid. Not just for me, but for my family, too. Rachel, you are a walking miracle. The purifier would never let anything harm you. What about Eric? What about her? Maybe Krista's right. Maybe I am cursed. Krista is wrong. I'm sure of it. But how do you know? How mm -hmm. do any of us know if any of this is true? The elders will help us make sense of all of this. Rachel, we love you. And we would never let anything happen to you or your family. You believe that, right? Of course I do. Good. Now get some rest. 
Mm. He said, now carry your butt to bed. Carry your head to bed. Eat the cake, a bow. Hey, Angel. I need to talk to you about something. You know how you've been staying home from school? That's because of what happened on your last day. Do you remember? You ask a lot of questions, Mama. Oh! Like Zane. Oh! Is that a friend in your class? The imaginary friend. No, that's the man in the fog. Or Be honest she... with her. Be honest your with your daughter. said you got into an argument and you bit another kid. No, pay her no mind. Take those toys out of, out of his hand. Look at me. You bit someone. That's not okay. Ever. Do you understand me? When you hurt people, it hurts you in your heart. And it hurts my heart too. You don't want to hurt me. Do you? Astrid, I think that's enough. I know that was hard to hear. But that ugliness, that's how your grandma behaved. Oh. I don't think we need any more angry, mean old ladies in the world. We need more good little boys. More Orsons, okay? Okay. You're like, okay, whatever, mom. Let me just play with my toys. God, she's on it, mom. <laughs> You're like, come on, mom. I'm playing my toys. You talk, you're talking to me, asking me questions. Like Zane. Hey, gosh, golly, mom. I can make us some tea. The water's still hot. No, papa. You did a hard thing up there. Talking things out with Orson. But I think you'll be a better person for it. I don't want to hear your review of my parenting skills. All right. Then what do you want to talk about? The syringe. The one I found in Mama's room. Oh, there's nothing more to Oh! Say. I ran a test on it, Papa. It was filled with morphine. Is that what you were giving Mama? Is that what killed her? Why do you bring this up again? Why can't you let it go? I already told you her death wasn't my fault. Did everything for your mother. Because you were scared of her. I feel like this monster shows up when there's like a tense and a tense emotion or reaction or something. Are you fucking serious? Ooh. I know exactly what it was like. Every day in this house was torture. And you, Papa, you didn't do a goddamn thing about it. We gonna kill his daughter! <laughs> God. I Where are you going? To get Orson. Yeah, you gotta get out. You are not fit to be around him. Ooh. Leave the boy, Astrid. You don't know what you're saying. I thought all of this shit was finally gone with Mama. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I've heard a lifetime of empty apologies. I don't need another. Astrid. Please. Yeah, Asher, get I'm your kid sorry. and get out of this house before you, you know, dying, messing with your father. I'm sorry. Just, just, just get out. It's too much. Please. Make it stop. Not in a laundry mat. Mm. Oh! I can lock up. See you back at the house. I could cook and. We need to go back. What? Let's go, Faith. Grab your stuff. Wait, Rach. Talk to me. Mommy, Faith, honey, can you go check on the machines over there? Go see if anyone left anything behind. You trusted me enough to tell me what really happened to Joy, and you can trust me now. So tell me, what's going on? Hey, look at me. Rach, 
You can talk to me. I can't. Rach, come on. It's me. I'm not gonna tell anybody anything. You're asking me to break my oath. I just want to help. I said no. You're right. I'm sorry. Wow. Mm. Tension in relationship. Let's see what Asher. Let's see what else Asher gonna find. I wish I'd be able to make decisions, y'all. Detective, I, I'll just post this up on YouTube as YouTube reactions instead. Can I? Can I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Well, I'm here. Why did you call me? Oh, she gonna snitch on her I father, y'all. I wanted to show you this. <laughs> I found this in my mother's room. It's morphine. She wasn't prescribed it, but if this syringe was full, it could have been a lethal dose. You think your father did this? I'm not sure. You should have given this to me earlier. But I understand your hesitation. It can't have been easy. If it helps us know the truth, do what you have to do. I intend to. Oh! My father's gonna go to jail. He's gonna go to jail. We're gonna go to jail. Now, who ate this dog outside? How did I? Why she sneak up behind him like that? You probably think that was me too. I just said he talked with your daughter. She was very helpful. May have given me what I need to put you away. Surprised? Why haven't you arrested me then? If you had any excuse to put those cuffs on me, you would. <laughs> you can't. Even you don't think you have the evidence. Mm. You're just trying to scare me into confessing. I'm giving you a chance to tell the truth before the autopsy does it for you. What if the truth is impossible to believe? Like what? A no did it? Look. Just save us the trouble and admit you killed her. Denial won't hold up against evidence. The evidence you don't have. Yet. Ooh, it's getting sticky! It's getting sticky! What did it look real? It looked real for a second. Are you ready? Not really. Tell them the truth, and everything will be fine. Xavier, I... Rachel Hernandez. Hey, why are you We're so... ready for you. Why are you so aggressive looking? Okay, so there's the Foundation members. <laughs> yes, Neil. Whether out of penitence or humility, we must decide how to judge the work of your hands. Rachel Hernandez, your sister Joy is dead. Oh, that's her sister? But you are very much alive. Oh, Why wow. Look at me, Rachel. S something killed her. Something. We'll need more to go on than that. I. I don't know. One of our own is dead. We demand answers. I don't have them. I've replayed that day in my mind again and again, and I... I can't ignore my doubts. Explain. I did everything correctly, exactly as I was taught. Every word, every cut. But what I saw? It was something new, something we don't understand. Are you questioning the veracity of our teachings? No, I'm just saying, what if we miss something? Mm -hmm. What if there's something we don't know? This order has stood for centuries. How dare you? 
Oh my God, why are you so I'm defensive? Just listen. Your faith has wavered. I think it would be unwise to ignore this. A ritual of clarity is required. Barbara, given the outcome of the last ritual, is this our wisest course of action? Exactly. I believe it is. And why is that? Because the withering must be stopped. A withering? Here? Impossible. I would have seen the signs. You may not have seen them, but she has. You've seen them, haven't you, Rachel? Visions. Harbingers. Lurking in that cramped, stifling place between sleep and awake. Yeah. How do you? I know because of Radcliffe's writings. And now I know it's spreading here. This town stands on a cliff. As more are drawn into the pestilence blighted web, it flutters further over the abyss. We have to stop it. You have to stop it. I will do whatever is required of me. Good. You will need to choose someone to help you perform the ritual. Someone who will bring you strength. The girl's husband. He's still new to our order, but a marriage bond is a powerful one. Krista should do it. Me? She and Rachel haven't always seen eye to eye, but friction can yield perseverance. I can also make myself available, though you should consider our bond is only still in its infancy. I... I need time to think. Yeah, give us some time. This is a lot one, huh? You need time to think and process everything before she makes a decision. Subject one the X A one. Culture looks healthy. Closely watching the calcium buildup, but for the next trial, Papa, what are what are you doing here? I went to your place. I thought I was picking Orson up to take him to school, but he wasn't there. I was waiting there, scared to death. I took him to school. I told you. I don't want you around him right now. I should have known. Haugen told me you gave her the syringe. You really think I can do something so horrible? I mean, you threw was a cast iron skillet at her. Person that she deserved to be murdered? No, she don't know. Who will watch him while you're working? I'll figure something out. But it won't involve you. I'm sorry you got roped into this. I'm sorry about a lot of things. I'm asking for forgiveness here. I'm begging for it. Please, Astrid. Can we just move on? I'm not, Mama. I'm not looking for you to grovel. I need you to do better as a grandfather than you did as a father. Mm. But it's too late for that. I don't want you around my son. Mm. And that's final. Period! You said that's final. Period. <laughs> he said, alright, say less. He said, well, he said I'm going to go and, and take your son. You're going to end up kidnapping that boy. Can I get another drink? You look like hell. You, uh, need someone to talk to? I'm not interested in Are they going to try to recruit um, Joy's husband? Hey, relax. I'm not with them. Haven't set foot there in years. Stop lying. I'm just talking. Something bad happened in there with my sister. <sighs> Sounds about right. They start as a support group, tell you what you need to hear, but then they make you need them. And when my partner died at the steel mill, they used my grief to rope me in. Assholes. Sorry. About your partner. Yeah, well. You should stay as far away from the Foundation as you can. I can't. What are you gonna do? Still figuring that out. Well, you didn't hear this from me. But I've got some family who I've been helping lead the Foundation. They don't know much. But they say something big's going down this week. My friend Eric's a member. He might know more about it, but... He won't talk. His foundation-loving wife's got him by the balls. Sounds to me like he's soft. A few strong words, and he'd open right up. Whoa. I'm not sure I want to piss off the only friend I got left. You could always play the heartstrings. 
You mean beg? Like some kind of pathetic asshole? Well, when you put it that way, you could always lie to him, trick him into telling you. Like I said, sounds like he's soft. I gotta hit the head. Hit the head? Who say that? Gotta hit the head. Let me hit the hay? Ugh! Somebody had one too many drinks! Dang, she, she must don't like throwing up because why is she crying? My tummy, my tummy might be hurting. She might need some Pepto-Bismol. Somebody give us some Pepto-Bismol, please! Joy? Joy? <gasps> oh! You better get out that bathroom. Get out that dirty bathroom. Get out that dirty bathroom. The walls is all dirty and peeling. Get out of there. What he in, an igloo? What night rider 2017? Another double? Just leave me the bottle, Leo. I can't do that in good conscience, friend. What's happened now? It's Astrid. She. She thinks I killed her mother. How could she think that? She betrayed because me. Because you, you, you threw a cast but iron now, skillet at her. Hogan's threatening to charge me with murder. Murder, Leo. I just know Haugen won't leave us alone until she's charged me with murder. Maybe you do need this. The thing is, I think someone else did it. Who? I. I what if it was the little boy that did it? There or was that girl. Someone. Something. On the farm that night. Have you told Hogan this? Ah, she'd think I was crazy. Carl, you have to tell the police immediately. If you don't do it, I will. I've got a friend down at the station and... I don't think I should make more trouble. Any more than you're already in. I just wish Ingrid was here. She'd know what to do. She'd tell you to listen to your friend. Ah, take it. It's good scotch. It's awesome. It deserves to be savored. Not wasted on a wreck like me. Don't let that Hogan intimidate you. Just tell her the truth, and you'll be fine. Okay, this episodes are getting shorter and shorter. Hello? To the ritual as soon as possible. It's getting worse. Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? I want Krista to do it. What? I want you to perform the ritual on me. Rachel, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but are you okay? Yeah, we don't agree on much, but maybe that's what we need. Sometimes a little friction can be a good thing. Okay, fine. Now, if that's all, I'd like to speak to Rachel alone. Rachel, during our investigation into Joy's death, you seemed uncertain of things. Well, between Joy and the visions, I... Don't be. I spoke with Xavier. He told me your story. You've overcome a lot. You can stop all of this. Mm. You are special. Wow. I just need you to believe it. Good girl. Now then, tell me more about your daughter.
Don't be looking at me, jo I mean, Rachel. Don't be looking at me like that. The house is so quiet without Orson here. You really were serious about keeping him away from me. Yes. And it will remain that way until... You're sure I'm innocent? Have you thought about what you're going to tell Detective Hogan about? What happened to Mama? I'm sure you have an opinion. I think you know what I'm going to say. You want me to confess to a crime I didn't commit? I want you to tell the truth. I talked to Britt. Told her what happened. Is she coming back home? I begged her, but she's still so angry. I think it would mean a lot if you reached out. I doubt she would listen to me. She hates me almost as much as she hated Mama. It just makes me angry, you know. Her mother is dead, and her own father has to beg her to come home. Maybe I'll call oh, just so to I give said, her a piece of my mind. I said, oh, Please don't do that. Well, his other daughter been through so much and already. Her I just wish she hadn't left us when she did. But I get why she did it. Maybe tell her that. She would appreciate it. I don't know. She'd probably think I was patronizing her. Try. For me. And your mother. I just want to see your sisters close again. You'll regret it if you don't. Twenty one. Toby, what are you doing here? I, I wanted to talk to you. About what? Uh-oh. I need your help. Yeah, sure. I heard there was some kind of meeting at the Foundation. You know I can't talk about that stuff with you. Please. I think it has something to do with Joy. I don't know, man. Rachel's not good. What do we have to do? Beg? Look, man, I'm not in a good place right now. And you're the only friend I got left. So just please help me out here. <sighs> okay. Okay. But you gotta get some help, man. Rachel's not gonna want me hanging out with you anymore. There's this ritual they're asking Rachel to prepare for. What kind of ritual? They don't tell me much. When is it? Tomorrow night. Thanks. Wait. What are you gonna do? Toby! Toby! Mm. Rachel, the foundation, it's never ending goddamn fog. Uh oh. Joy? Uh uh oh. What's wrong? Oh, shit. It's not like you've never seen this before. Remember? No, no, no. You were too drunk to even help me. What do you want from me? Answers. Justice. Blood. Hmm. Wow.
thank y'all so much for coming for watching uh my video like i said if you stuck to the end i'd like appreciate it give it a thumbs up also don't forget to follow uh, my community which calls out the deviants the link to my discord along with my twitch in which i appreciate if you follow me on there as well and the rest of my socials are in the description box down below and um we'll, with that being said i'll be back with some more of these reactions i really want to do some decisions but it looks as if i can't right now um but yeah well, i think once i get an idea of how this is structured i think i'll be better but for now it's reaction until i get to the actual decision part of the game so yeah <laughs> um see you next time and um deuces